Armstrong isn't your typical seven-year-old. I'm um, just climbing every mountain that there is. <laughs> Suited up with his pack and poles, this Yorba Linda second grader may have just set a record. I'm going to climb the biggest mountain in the continental United States of America. That would be Mount Whitney at 14,500 feet. Tyler climbed it in one day. At the top, Tyler signed his name and age into the book. Might sound like a Hollywood movie, but a young boy from Orange County is about to attempt to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, the tallest mountain in Africa, and it's all to help raise money for a lethal muscle disease. Well, get this. Tyler Armstrong is only eight years old. KTLA's Brandy Hit is here with his inspirational story. Hi, Brandy. Hi, and he says he is ready. Tyler Armstrong could soon become the second youngest person to reach the top of Kilimanjaro, but that is not his only goal. Tyler says that he is climbing this mountain for other kids who can't. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa and the largest freestanding mountain in the world. And I started hiking on Monday. Yes, at eight years old, Tyler Armstrong is about to make the eight-day climb through jungles, rocks, and glaciers with his father. Being out there eight days in a row is going to be, I think that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for him. <laughs> While his pack is pretty big, Tyler is no stranger to hiking. We introduced you to him last summer. I'm um, just climbing every mountain that there is. When he became the youngest to climb Mount Whitney in a day. Mount Whitney is 14,500 feet. Kilimanjaro is much higher at 19,341. Are you concerned at all for safety? I'm not very concerned about safety because Tyler's proven that he can deal with altitude, deal with um, long distance hiking, climbing. And this climb comes with a mission. I'm climbing for the sick boys that have to Duchenne. Duchenne is a type of muscular dystrophy that affects 300,000 boys worldwide. He realized that he could walk where these kids are, are confined to a wheelchair, usually by age 12. Three of Tyler's friends have Duchenne, and with each step, he's raising money for a cure. I wanted them to hike with me, and so they don't have to sit down all the time and not do anything fun. Will is one of those friends. Tyler has promised to carry Will's cross all the way to the top. To have the dedication to work out every day and, and do the hikes that we do is, um, I, I'm proud of him. And Tyler says he's just getting started. I'm going to do um, Aconguejo, that's in Argentina, in South America, and then after that, I'm going to do Everest. Setting the bar high at a young age. <laughs> Definitely. At eight, right? Eight years old, and he can teach so many kids, you know, about giving back. That's right. And you yeah. know what's so amazing about it is that he's not just at eight years old. We're going to be following him probably for the rest of his life, um, all the yeah. inspirational things that he's going to do is if he's doing this now, right? Remember the name. Yep. Tyler Armstrong. Tyler. Good luck. <laughs> Tyler climbed to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro for a cause. He climbed for Cure Duchenne. Hi, I'm Tyler Armstrong. Thank you for donating Cure Duchenne. Every dollar counts. I just made it to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. I claim for Will Hawkins to hail and Evan and the other 300,000 boys that have Duchenne. Tyler told the story of Cure Duchenne to the world. While most eight-year-olds were riding bikes and playing baseball, Tyler Armstrong was climbing the highest mountain in Africa. We are so pleased to have Tyler with us from L.A., also with his dad, Kevin. Eight-year-old Tyler Armstrong of Yorba Linda has just become the second youngest to summit the highest mountain in Africa. Eight-year-old Tyler Armstrong climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, not just for the thrills, but for a cause.